Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur and I want to go over some numbers with you. Uh, a lot of people ask me how much do I need to spend in order to make X million dollars? Well, it uh, it's not that simple. I can't just say, okay, you need to spend a thousand dollars to make your goal because everyone has different goals. So, what I decided to do is make a little chart. Um, so I wrote it down. I was just going to do it off the top of my head, but it didn't work out. This is the third time actually shooting this video because I actually had to write down the numbers. So let's see. So let's go like this. Okay, so this. Let's see. 25. 5. So this number up here is the amount of money spent, okay? So 1000 2500 5000 7500 and 10000 Okay, right here, in this straight line that I'm doing, so we have 80%, let's see, 60%, 50%, and 35 percent the reason I went with these okay the reason I went with these numbers the 80 percent 60 50 and 35 percent is because that is a wide variety it, it covers a huge um, portion of people's sales so 80 percent uh, profit 60 percent profit margins 50 percent 35 percent like I have said many times in the past I do not make 100% on all my items. Sometimes I'm making 80%, sometimes 60 sometimes all the way down to 35 There's times where I'm only making 10% on items because I'm just trying to get rid of them because they just keep dropping in price. So I just drop it, try to get a quick sale, and I'm done with it. Okay. So let me write down the numbers, how much you need to make, and uh, this is kind of you know, explain everything. So this is 800, 600, 500. 350. Okay, this is 2000. This is uh, 1500. See, this one is 1250. 1250. And this one is 875. This bottom one's always going to be very small. Just keep that in mind. 4000. Or was this uh, three thousand um, twenty five hundred and the small one seventeen fifty? Okay. Now, if you're spending seventy five hundred dollars a month, and these are your uh, profit margins, this is what you make six thousand. Okay, forty five hundred. Um, thirty-seven fifty and twenty-six twenty-five. Ten thousand. Okay. So now that all the numbers are up there, um, what I want to explain to you is. Most people that start out, start out with spending a thousand dollars. And what is realistic? What is realistic? Let me get a different, let me get a different um, highlighter for you, kind, kind of brighten it up. So if you only got a thousand dollars, this is realistic. Okay? If you're spending twenty five hundred dollars, this and this are easily realistic. So you're spending five thousand oh, dollars. Forgot that one. All those are easily realistic. Okay. Now, let's say you're at seventy-five hundred dollars. You can still easily make eighty percent profit margin. But what is most realistic? These two numbers right here. 
okay? Your 60% and your 50%. Those are very realistic when you're spending $7,500 a month on inventory, okay? It's 60 and 50%. That's the profit margins that you will most likely be in. Um, and that is on average across the board. So when as your, your numbers, as your spending increases, normally your profit margins decrease. That's not always the case, but in you know, let's say in grocery and shoes and clothing, stuff like that, the profit margins don't always shrink the more you spend, okay? But when you're selling toys, you're selling home improvement products, when you're selling anything in a category that does not require any ungating, the problem is everybody can sell that. So there's usually that race to the bottom. Once that hits, your profit margins start to take a hit, okay? So $10,000, this is normally where you're at. Okay, so what you need to keep in mind is that just because you spend an extra $2,500 might only mean you're making an extra $500. Now, this is just from my experience what I've seen. Kind of take a step back. So when you're only spending $1,000, you can easily find, you know, items that you can pick. You can be very picky. Again, I'll kind of stand out of the way a little bit so you can check it out. But when you're only spending a thousand dollars, you can be very picky on what you buy. That is why 80% profit margins are extremely realistic. Now, when you spend twenty-five hundred dollars, it's the same thing. You can still find that. Let's say you're buying shoes, and the shoes cost you, you know, fifty dollars a piece. Fifty dollars a piece at that price, what are you getting? Fifty pairs of shoes? That's not very many. I could get fifty pairs of shoes in a single day. Sometimes in just one store. Okay, um, let's say you're buying clothing at $7,500. You can buy a lot of clothes if you shop at the right stores. So, can you make 80% profit margins? Yes, you can with clothing. Mm -hmm. Clothing is ungated, so keep that in mind. Will you make 60% and 50%? Most likely, that is where you'll be. You spend $20 on a you know pair of pants, you will probably make a $10 profit, maybe a $12 profit, right around there. Um, it's not going to be huge profit margins in clothing, but it's something that um, it sells quick as long as it's ranked right. Um, you will keep getting sales with clothing. Um, it, they're not big, they're not bulky, they don't cost you a whole lot. So I like clothing, I love shoes, um, grocery products, health and beauty, um, toys, home improvement, um, sporting goods. Those are the categories I like the best. I'm not big on home and kitchen, um, although that's where you know, I do have some products in home and kitchen. They just, they're just not my favorite. So, uh, again, let me step back so you can look at that. You know, most of my clients that come in, and if you want to take my Amazon FBA expert training course, go check it out on gumroad.com slash homemade entrepreneur. The link will be in the description below. Um, it's a $67 course. Um, it's going to teach you everything you need to know to get started to make full-time income with this business. But most of my clients come in right here. Okay, so if this was the mar the five thousand dollar mark, they're coming in right here, right about four thousand. Um, so it well, okay, not not all my clients come in with four thousand dollars. They're coming in anywhere from like uh, usually right around. Uh, 500 200 to 500 dollars is someone that's just starting that is skeptical about the business and I'm, I completely understand um, this business it's very simple there's a lot of people talking about it you can make a lot of money with this business but I understand people are still skeptical you know why would I spend my money well the thing is you're not paying anybody you know okay if you bought the course if you bought my training course yeah you'd be paying you know for that but you're not paying somebody uh, you know thousands of dollars to buy their products you're not doing that you are going to the store you're buying all these things and you're sending it directly to Amazon one of the biggest um, you know e-commerce the biggest e-commerce site in the world or one of them um, you know I don't say biggest company in the world because they are not one of the biggest companies in the world they make a lot of money selling products selling your products selling someone else's products they make a lot of money Amazon's huge so it's not somebody that you probably have not heard of. Amazon is a big company. They make a lot of money off of this system, off people selling 
their own products or someone else's products for them, third party seller. So most of my clients come in, let's say around 250 all the way up to $4,000. Most clients that I get um, are somewhere in that range. I get a few that are a little bit bigger, but you know, most people that's where they start. So these are the, right here, these are the percentages that you are most likely to see just starting out. They're very realistic. So again, if you have any questions, let me know what those are. If you want to take my expert, my Amazon FBA expert training course, go check it out. Gumroad.com slash homemade entrepreneur. The link is in the description below. But again, if you have any questions, comment below. Let me know what those are. If you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, click that button right there. Be coming today and see you guys on the next video. How right, you guys take care?